Hi there, Frank here for premium members for the trading day of July 15, 2024, a Monday. So this is a special edition. Everybody's aware of the events of the past day or two in the U.S. And this is an event that is bound to affect the markets. I have a few thoughts, for better or worse. I'll be quick, but I think some basic guidelines needs to be shared here. So first of all, one thing for each of us, whatever our personal opinions, private opinions, political views, whatever is concerned, we have to keep that separate from our work as technical traders. This is a real challenge for many people, hopefully not us. Many people mix the two together and usually it doesn't lead to any good. So, again, keep our personal opinions separate. Don't let it filter into our decision process. If we are not sure how to do this, then it's better just not to trade for a given period of time, which at this moment it's impossible to say. So that's the one thing. That's pretty obvious. There's nothing new here. So we, are, we just watch price. We follow the patterns, trading plan, and that's it. Second, an event like this is bound to affect the markets. Which markets and how? I do have some ideas, but of course it's impossible to say. But I'm going to say a couple of things and then everybody can do what we want with this. So I think, first of all, that the technical patterns, and this is important in any event like this, I think markets will do what they would have done anyway. So I think the best guideline is just to keep looking at the technical patterns, and I think they will just unfold as they would have unfolded anyway. That's what I think. We'll see what happens in this time, okay? So what those are? Well, let's just go one by one. First of all, I would be careful on the ES, whatever, because this is a failure, this is a potential failure test at this moment. So there's no rush. We had such a big run since November 23, you see, that, that ominous day here down at the lower Kautner, and also just most recently at the end of April, that I wouldn't be surprised if we even retested this area. That would not be a very special event in the history of the world, okay? So this is just the previous pivot. It's, an op it's, a, it's a potentiality, so I don't know what's going to happen exactly. The NQ, look at this sell-off on, when was it, Thursday? This is a sell-off, definitely. It was a big day. It was 339 Sigma on the daily. This is an extreme event, so tread carefully on the indexes. A anti wouldn't be surprising, and just to repeat, just to recap, an anti would be something like this, like a measure and move kind of thing to the downside. Okay, now second, currencies. Currencies, I think they're going to do what they were doing anyway. So this obviously are signs of USD weakening because most major pairs are going to the upside. Australian dollar, 6E, 6B. This process started a couple of weeks ago. So this is not something that's brand new, and I think this process might continue. Okay, energies. I think there's a high likelihood that an event like this will affect oil prices. And again, just following the technical patterns might be a good guideline here. And this is a bull flag on the daily. Again, if we're not comfortable, better just to stay out. Now, the next item is more important. Precious metals. Precious metals could really shoot up to the sky. I don't know, of course, but this is a fantastic bull flag on the weekly chart. And this has been here. So you see, so an event again is not the reason for the move. It's an excuse for the move. Okay. So this is a consolidation area. So if we are traders and if we want to just go about our job, 
as we always do, then this is an excellent opportunity, which was here anyway, actually. The other word I was thinking about is catalyst, which we often use. A news item can work as a catalyst for the market. Catalyst just means an excuse to move, something that was going to happen anyway. Now it will happen with more urgency, perhaps, and that will certainly involve the silver market. We discussed this many, many times in the videos. The charts should speak for themselves. And that's about it. Maybe I'll just show you the ZF, which was a 217 sigma. sigma. And so treasuries, I think, with the weakening of the dollar, money might be escaping into other asset classes. And the treasury market actually looks quite bullish. So that's another event or a move that I'm expecting here as the chart shows. Other than that, it is what it is. The charts are here. Okay, so this is a special edition of the premium nightly videos. Back in the morning, let's see what happens and tread carefully.